us RVers, we get ourselves into pickles, we got ourselves into another one. However, I might just be able to squeeze by this pickle myself. We came up to the Georgia area in escape of the Florida weather and got smacked right in the face with that cold front. Yeah, that kind of sucked. So we're gonna go back down to Florida and it's kind of bittersweet. At the same time, there's a lot of exciting things happening. We're on our way to the Tampa show and then shortly thereafter, we're gonna have another rally and then we're gonna skedaddle and head out west. Baby, the adventures are waiting and we're taking you guys along for the ride. I wanna get the tanks dumped today. Day, so I'm not having to deal with that in the morning and more importantly I want to get these clear source water filters changed out I haven't done it in months to be honest with you guys I don't know if I'm sold on the clear source itself Carl's opinion keep rocking some water bottles out there and just kind of figure it out as you go along I don't want to steer you guys in the wrong direction you know how the Hanks roll we love to save money on the road no you got the RV and that's all you need looking into the nitty-gritty of it yeah the filters are doing their job and they're doing a great job at that but the complaint is when we actually buy new water filters it's 60 buckaroos for three brand new water filters from clear source that's a lot of moolah to be dishing out for drinking water now it's been about three months since we changed these honkers out according to my calculations roughly about 240 to 250 dollars in water filters is that worth it to you guys this can get really pricey really fast now the one thing that i really do enjoy about the clear source is our modification that we did to it when we did all the pex tubing and the bypass of the nautilus system it makes it really easy to change out these water filters a nautilus system Think of it as like a control panel for our unit where we direct the water flow and exactly what we're wanting to do at the time, whether we're wanting to actually fill up the freshwater tank or use city water or maybe just use the water pump and go on the dry camping mode. Now back to what I was saying about bypassing the actual system. Once we did that, it made changing out these water filters so stinking easy. Meaning that if I go to reconnect the water filters and I misread one of them, there's gonna be a mess on my hands. And instead of having to run all the way back to the spigot, I'm able to just shut off the water source right here, address the problem, and then restart the water flow. Make things easy for yourself in RV life. It saves you a headache. Well, basically, it just makes more room for other headaches. You get rid of one headache, and there's another one. Yeah, yeah life doesn't stop. No one told you that? Yeah, no, life is very real and alive out here on the road. RV life. So if you're looking to get in this lifestyle, well, you come to the right place because we spill the beans all the time and keep it super real. I mean, really real. Oh yeah, and by the way, y'all look amazing today. Keep doing you, because uh, it's working. The Hanks are off to a late start as always. We're kind of late getting out of the RV park once again. Well, it's 1030. We'll call it morning. Yeah, don't worry about it. We'll figure it out like we always do. <laughs> You're gonna laugh when you hear this, but I'm being dead serious. It just started spitting snow outside. I went off this ride. Let's skedaddle down to Florida. The warm temperatures are calling the Hank's name. Feeling pretty good this morning, energized, even though there's a long list of things to do, like dumping tanks, checking tire pressures, making sure everything is ready to go for last minute preparations of actually getting on the road. You guys look great as always. You guys are always bringing amazing vibes and I feel like you're always on top of your game. How do you do it? Really? I did not know that. Okay, you don't have to share all the secrets with me, but you gotta share them sometime. Beep. What are you doing in here? I'll tell you who's not ready and not bringing the good energetic vibes. You're so stinky. You don't look like you're ready to go. This is not the Hank's way of doing things. Actually, it is. Notice we have to make the bed around him, so we have to make everything else. Yeah, we can't disturb Prince Charming here. Oh, those whiskers. They can't have a snowflake touch them ever. How are we taking the drive down to Tampa? Um, I-75, then I-75, then I-75. Can you refresh my memory on which one I-75 is? You know how I am. I'm a little slow on the draw with all these, uh, memorizing all the names of these roads. The interstate that goes from Georgia to Florida, it's got like X Games ramps, those rails that they do like grinds on. Like we're gonna do that at the RV. We're gonna be like, Shh. you don't remember? Not particularly. One thing I do want to make sure that gets packed is some lunches for the road. Sandwiches. We have ham, we have some cheese, fixins like mayo, mustard, pack, stinky, and we'll be good. Telling me I have to smell him all the way there. He is stinky. Look at this camper. I feel like this camper is always a mess before we actually leave. Just kind of tripping over my own stuff. You know, I set it there and then I'm like, I'll pick that up later. Right now is that later time. 
Love it. Nice job, Kyle. Bringing those good vibes today. There it is. That is the sound of letting her rip. If you don't know what letting her rip is, welcome to the Hank's way of doing things. Let me give you the quick down and dirty of it all. Two types of people in this world, those who are the shy guys and then those who are the let her rip kind of peeps. A shy guy sits there, sneaks out of the camper, does a couple look arounds to make sure no one's in sight. They pretend that they actually don't have a black tank. And then when they gotta dress the black tank, they make sure no one else is around to see the contents of the black tank. I get it, you know, you're new to this game. I was right there, I used to be a shy guy. But then there's a point in time when you actually, you just full on, you whip it out there, your neighbor's out there grilling some patties on the grill, and you're just letting her rip. You just open that black tank, contents come a flushing out, and you're just making small talk and having a good time. That is confidence. That is the RV life way of doing things. Ah, uh, the fresh ambiance of 37 degree temperatures. Love it. Let's go see how this tank is actually letting her rip. We don't have neighbors, by the way, today, so I can full on let her rip without guilt. I don't know, you know, sometimes I even speak a little highly of it. I'm like, yeah, let her rip, you know, but I like to have some boundaries once in a while. I'm like, okay, you're you're cooking right now outside. You're having a little barbecue, watching the football game. I'll, I'll wait, I'll wait a few minutes. Hey Siri, set a timer for six minutes. Feeling frosty, I don't know. Six minutes sounds good to me. How many of y'all set timers and actually close your black tank, let it fill up, and then open it once again to hopefully get some more contents out? I don't know, I feel like that's a little taboo to talk about in the RV industry, because there's so many like scary stories of people forgetting to open their black tank up once again. I like to ride that line, you know? Take the wild ride, that's what life is all about. So, knock on wood, I don't have any around me, we'll be okay. Where, where are you going? Laundry. It's snowing. Actually, that's a really smart idea. You threw that on before we went. You go get them, Rocky. You go get them. What is this? here on the road this is the cool part of owning an RV it's like you're home on wheels and you can just cook up and whip up a dinner whenever you want so spaghetti's on the menu tonight cheap but it fills the belly Nene always asks me what do you want for dinner tonight dear and I'm like honey whatever fills the belly guys are simple creatures let me tell you you know we have few few needs in life need I say more hey are you prego no I'm not here's a beer <laughs> <laughs> Can you use marinara and spaghetti sauce? Heck yeah, because we're the Hanks family. We do, we do what we want. We, want. we do what we want, man. I was gonna say that, yeah. yeah. Hey, shy guy. Oh, now you're acting all cool. It wasn't a good travel day. He was meowing a lot. What happens is we stay in one spot. To get back in the groove, he needs multiple days in the row. Like after day two or three, he's like, oh, okay, I'm familiar with this. But if we stay in one spot and we just have one long travel day, he's like, uh, this sucks. I'm gonna let you know about every single minute of it. <sighs> Hashtag no thanks, thanks. Well, we did drive through Atlanta today and driving through Atlanta is like never not annoying. Thanks Atlanta. Today was definitely one of his moments. You know, he woke up from a nap around three o'clock and then for the last two hours, he was just intermittently screaming. And a lot of you guys reach out and ask, you know, about cats and traveling. You say, oh, Dexter does so well. It is very common if your cat is hollering and they're just not getting used to, just know that like sometimes they never do and that's just the way it is. Hazy little thing. Thank you. Oh, Bucky's <laughs> nice. I love it. Oh, wait, what is your, look at your apron. Oh, I forgot we got that. Yeah. Sip, flip, let her rip. Pull the beer, flip your burger, and then go pull the black jacket. <laughs> We gave this to our rally people who have attended like a certain amount of rallies, but we're also thinking of putting this on a, a sweatshirt or something, or maybe making it available on the merch store. Let us know what you think. I don't know, you guys tell us, would you be interested in having that on a t-shirt? I thought it was pretty catchy. Nene came up with the idea, so all the credit goes to her. Let her rip, that can be applicable to anything you can think of when you're out on the road. Pulling the black tank, filling up the truck, you're just being like, hey, let's just go have a good time. All those situations let her rip just keep it simple I, I have frozen garlic bread and I, I pulled this out of the freezer I'm trying to thaw it out you just make do with what you have sometimes
Sunday before the show. It's already chaotic. We're trying to get to Walmart because we're meeting Keith and Rainey there. Wally World, we're coming for ya. Again, are we there yet? The reason we're meeting them at Walmart is that so we can follow each other into the show, into the fairgrounds, and that way we can park next to each other. Because I think that's the trick. I think that's the key. This is the thing I worry about with coming to the RV show, is that the traffic and lots of people, and also the internet. The Starlink's probably not gonna be very good. We're off I-75, woo! Bye, 75, bye! How you doing? Haven't seen an RV yet. Makes sense, because you, you go to the show to buy an RV. There they are! Uh, okay. <laughs> you have sunshine? Hi! 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 Oh, hi. hi. Oh, bunch of goofballs. <laughs> Man, it's good to see some friends again. Oh, this is gonna be a fun week. What'd you get? Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts and bacon. We normally saute our Brussels sprouts on the cast iron inside. They stink the RV up. Don't make Brussels sprouts in your RV. And we're gonna use a little bacon grease and I'm gonna saute them on the Blackstone. Let's get the show on the road! RV show, here we come! What's up, Tampa? The Hanks are coming back. Hanks are back, all right. I'd like to check in my camper, please. At least they do a good job with the signs. It's really annoying when you get to campgrounds and you can't find the office because they don't, they put like one tiny little mark on the road. Office. Okay. Bottom half is for your truck. Okay. That wasn't so bad after all. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Just you wait and see. Looks like we're moving. We're moving and grooving. Uh, with what? Our uh, friends behind us. I'll see if I can get you closer. I appreciate right? it. Right, Thank you. Holy cow, there's a lot of RVs. He said, he said to sit tight, so that's what I plan on doing. Let her rip. It's been like 45 seconds. I'm getting impatient here. I got a lot to do today. Today is so good, in fact, because I'm rocking the Hey Dudes. Not sponsored. I did burn my Hey Dudes, oh, so no. I got too close to the fire, babe. That's RV life. That is RV life. Catching your feet on fire. Yeah, the Hey Dudes did not stand up to the fire very well. So I might have to order me some new ones. When you see me, just go, hey dude. Look at that guy sending it on that thing. He's like, speed limit, never heard of it. Howdy. Here's the plan, Stan. <laughs> We're gonna go into 65. Keith and Rainey are gonna head into 66, and they even got us an extra site in case any one of y'all wanna come visit us in 67. Woo! She's on the run. You ready to rock this? You know your plan, right? Ah! Uh front of all these RVers. A lot of these people know us. I gotta pretend like I know how to back this thing up. We don't. Uh oh, he's calling me. Hello? Hello, hey, can you hear me? I have you on speakerphone. Oh good, you have a driver's side back in. Oh no, they're getting the chairs out. I don't like that. <laughs> they got the chairs. Don't mess this up. We have to actually pretend like we know what we're doing. Just make sure oh, you, when you swing yeah. that you're not gonna hit that truck to your right. No promises. Okay, that's a good angle. You can start, you like yeah, keep, that's a good angle. Oh, be careful in front of you. I don't know how much room you have. You look like you're getting close to that truck. Let me just take a gander. When in doubt, get out, Jack's nice and close. Perfect. Just come back straight and I think we might be good. Like, I think that slide will miss. Okay, you got like five feet. Okay, stop right there and just see. I'll have you take a look. My measuring stick. Oh, it's always in the worst spot. Ooh, that's like just perfect. Kitchen slide. That'll work. That'll do. I feel like that could have been a lot worse, but we make do with what we have. That's RV life. I say high five because we did awesome. We did it. Communication at its finest. Does it always go that smoothly? Absolutely not. I'm just happy we're backed in and I didn't sideswipe anyone's truck. <laughs> I gotta pull out of the hitch there. Let me know. I think I'm good. Good. Actually, now that I have you guys here, I just learned an amazing thing about the electronic leveling system. If you have a Lipper Auto Leveler, go ahead and hit the up button one time. 
you'll notice that it says drop front jacks. What that's gonna do is make sure that the front two jacks come down together. And even if there's a difference, like it's on an incline or a slope between the left and right side, it will make sure that it stops one side and brings down the other so that they come down in a parallel, fluent level, whatever you wanna call it. That way, the next day when you go to hook back up, it is such less of a headache having to deal with actually bringing it up and returning the hitch height. Super easy, thanks, thanks. You know how I just got done saying, us RVers, we get ourselves into pickles. <sighs> we got ourselves into another one. However, I might just be able to squeeze by this pickle myself. We are just that much off from the electrical hookup. Yes, you called it right. Carl and Nene did not follow their own advice and actually look before we unhook. Now granted, even if we did, we don't have much room to be flexible in this situation. I'm just really happy that when we were doing the boondocker welcomes way back when, we invested in another 50 amp connection cord. Do I recommend that you go buy yourself a $125 cord to carry around extra weight, extra wear and tear on the RV? No, but when you get in situations like this, I'm really glad we did because we wouldn't have had electrical hookups. Do what you will with that information. All I'm saying is Carl and Nene are really thankful right now that we have that extra extension. <laughs>